Hey everybody, it's Daryl back with Networthy Farms. You wanna say hey? You don't wanna say hey there, buddy? Say hey. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you what the progress was on the raised beds. Uh, here we go. I borrowed a uh, little small tractor today with a uh, uh, backhoe attachment on it. And then I come and, I, of course I had to dig these by hand, but we come through and did these and uh maybe this won't be maybe this won't be too bumpy for you but uh of course with the first couple of digs that i did shovel piece, i hit my other water line so i had to uh splice it but this is what i'm gonna do with the uh lines going into the uh the raised beds at yourself and then I put an elbow and a uh, connector on it for them to screw into of course I didn't get enough pipe so uh, I got to get some more of that and there's one on the other side I've got to put the ring around the top of that one the pipe and then these two that one's got asparagus in it already and I put strawberry plants on that one but they kind of look like crap so I don't know what they're going to do, but that's the progress so far. Uh, I had this water hydrant right here in the place where this splice is at. And uh, I took it out of the, the works, but I've extended my other pipe right here. Going back around to over here. And uh, I'm going to end up putting my hydrant and all my controls back right here right between the blueberry bushes and this other uh, bed. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I'll have uh, a water spigot or hydrant uh, right here where these raised beds are, the garden that I'm gonna put in the ground, and I'll also have, a, have it for auxiliary for uh, doing the uh, raised beds. So that's an update on that. Uh, I'm glad that I have family members that have uh, tractors that I can use that has the uh, backhoe attachments on it. Can you say hey? It's also the uh, tractor that I use to uh, till everything up. So you don't have to have all that equipment to do stuff like this, but it makes it easier, especially when you're not used to uh, doing a whole lot of manual labor and a shovel will whip your Botox. So you wanna say hey? So that's the update on the garden. Little man was out here running around today and got stung by a honeybee on the back of the head. He had his hat on and I think the bee decided to try to get in up under his hat and got, got in there and stung him. So he got his first round of uh, bee venom today. Did it hurt? And also this week we had a big a big thing happen. You wanna tell him about little, uh, little brother? We had uh, Weston born on Monday. Uh, when he was born, he weighed 9.5 pounds and he was 21 and a half inches long. He was a big boy, but he weren't quite as big as uh, Wyatt was when he was born. Wyatt weighed 10.3 and he was 21. I want to say he was 21 and a half inches long. And little man right here, he was like 7.6, seven, seven, 7.8, seven, 7.10, seven, somewhere thereabouts when he was born. So we've had big boys when we had them. So, but that's the update on the raised beds. That's the update on everything else that's going on. He said bye bye. Bye bye. And we're going to uh, sign off on that. Hope y'all having a good weekend. We got lots of work to do around here. But I just want to give y'all an update. Hope y'all doing good. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one. Can you say bye bye? Bye bye.